resources. So that's what I'm working on. And again, I'm reaching out to my, if y'all know somebody in the TV land or got a rich uncle who was looking to invest, come to fuck with that show. I think he'll love it. You know what I'm talking about? On some real shit. No, I ain't got contracts rolled up and I ain't got nothing. I'm just a nigga who love what I want to do. And if you believe in me, I'm going to believe in you. Let's get this bread. If yeah. anything else. And good watching, good watching all that Sons of Anarchy shit. <laughs> and start putting a little bit of time and effort into FHO. Well, you niggas out there yeah. buying, uh, yeah. what did Jack wear? The Nike Cortez? What Jack wear? Some, what's that motherfucker? Some, uh, some Puma? Some, some Pro Kids? Whatever the hell he wear. Yeah, well, that's the bullshit. Stop yeah, believe that, that if you want to. And get into the real shit, yeah. you know? Yeah, that part, man. That part. Follow, yeah. follow your folks. Follow the people that care about you. Shit is really simple. Of, he following Sons of Anarchy. And if you really watched it, they told you, yeah, they. Don't care much, but they'll fuck with you as long as they take your money. <laughs> Tell me y'all, man, this shit is There's epic. There's still some rules and regulations that apply. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Independent? Independent. You? Why independent? Why independent? Well, I haven't uh, yet come across a, a team that, you know I mean, I want to get down with yet. You know what I mean? I had a couple of dudes that approached me and him about, hey, come and check us out, this, that, and the other. Couple of dudes say come check us out, and then we reach out, and then they ducking and dodge, you know, answer their phones, this, that, and the other. Then they flip the script, oh man, you you know, we, we don't go look for y'all, y'all come look for us. Motherfucker, you just told me the other day, told me to, you know, to meet you and come check your squad out. Now, let me ask you this, though. You know? Being independent, do you ever, whenever you do come around the set, do you ever wish you were part of a club? The, come, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, you know, the, the fellowship, the brotherhood in it, you know, people doing things and whatnot, that's, that's, that's anybody wants to say, you know, be a part of your people, be a part of a moving organization, as long as it's positive. Yeah. For me, as long as it's positive. Because Do you have the time it, for it? Do you have the time? I got the time, you, you know, like anything in life, if you want it, you make, you make time, time for it. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? If you so prepare. Right. Damn so right. Y'all yeah, know what I'm hitting. I'm trying to get the nigga to open up the Kings of the South in Austin. Anyway, so we were saying, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you prepare, if you prepare, then anything is possible. Anything you want to do, yeah, you're going to you do. You can do it, yeah. yeah. You know, but like I said, I've had, we had a couple of dudes approach us about this, that, and the other. You know, sit back with why you want to see what they fit is. Because I'm not just about throwing this yeah, yeah, on yeah, my yeah, bag that, just so that I can part. say, look, I roll with these people. And then I'm in a, in, you know, with a group of dudes where I, my word or my, you know, input don't matter or whatever the case may be. Especially you know, when you know some shit. Yeah. Um, you know, if you ain't trying to get back to the community, the kids, or do something, then I, you know, I really can't fuck with you, you yeah. know. I had some cats, you know, I ain't gonna say their name, but some cats had a, they had a party recently. They had, they had a, you know, they had a turn up at a, at a spot. We rolled up there, paid it 20 bucks, you know, this, that, and the other for the rich band. But there was nothing, nothing came along with it. Yeah, you just took my little bread and didn't even give it that. You know, yeah. <laughs> That's why you need to come to the King of the South weekend. I promise you, we are changing the game when it comes to hospitality, when it comes to networking, when it comes to making you feel comfortable, and when it comes to paying you attention. You actually come to the King of the South anniversary to finally get paid some attention. Imagine that. Yeah, because, you know, we had the game mixed up. You know, I'm not paying party. The, the club is, you know, where the location is. That's the spot people go to frequently every day of the week at any given time. Now, on this special night, just because you there, now they got paid twenty dollars. Yeah. For the same DJ that, that that's on any other night. Yeah. No raffle, no nothing, no give back, no door prize, no, no nothing. nothing. And then I'm no, getting no there nothing. and I'm totally ignored. You know what I mean? No nothing. Just because you want to, just so you build a, you know. Do shit like that just so you better put on your Facebook page. Yeah, we had a turn up. Who gives a fuck? You could have had a house party. You know? Who gives a fuck? You didn't do nothing. You didn't give nothing back to the community. You didn't say, hey, here, look. Here's a fucking band. Yeah. You know? Here's a local band. Here's a, hey, you're wrapping off this teddy bear. Nothing. And, you know, that's where it gets messed up at. People put that patch in their bag and they, now you, now you... Superman. I, Superman, well, or what I call, what I call patch pimping. Yeah. Patch pimping now. I'm going to tell y'all this, too. I came up with this concept the other day. Do you know why people, when they join a motorcycle club, they pick a different name, they change their name? Because that's probably who they want to be. You know, that's not who they really are. That's who they want to be. They want to when you become, when you join a motorcycle club, 
you get to be the image that you that you thought that you should have been or you really want to be. That's that's why people change their name. Um, because now I can be big said when I ain't never been big shit all my life. I've been a peon all my life, but I joined this motorcycle club and put this bulletproof vest on. And now I can be big said because y'all don't know that I really didn't used to be shit all my life. You get what I'm saying? You get a chance to hide your page. You get a do-over. You get a oh, do-over. There it is there. But, but one HDMC do-over. But one of the things about it, though, <laughs> be careful. Because you will. motherfuckers be trying to do a do-over with the same characteristic traits. Yeah. So if you change the name, change the characteristics that went with the old name. But can you really do that though? If you've been, if you done really. done what you done done for thirty five yep. or forty you years, ain't yeah, I think you, you might just yeah. find a better way to do it. That's, yeah, <laughs> you go to go to, go to motorcycle club name rehab. <laughs> Hey, man. Go to character rehab. <laughs> Chopping up with yeah. these cats, man. We still got all day Saturday. But uh, just want to thank them, man. Hope you guys learned something from this. I'm going to do the edit it, of course. Uh, you know, put it in parts and do what I do. But just stay tuned, man. Again, I want to thank them for their time, their effort, their energy. They rode their poor little bikes three hours. You know what I'm saying? They come see. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Three hours of sun, three days to me. You know, it just is what it is, but I, I'm, I'm going to give them credit. I'm going to give them a, let's see, report card time. I'm going to give them niggas a cool D plus. You know what I'm <laughs> cool D plus, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this, before you, before you time out on it. How many, you go a lot of places. Okay. You travel, people call you and this, that, and the other, tell you, hey, man, when you come to my city, I got you, this, mm -hmm. that, and the other, and it's cool. You know what I mean? But just you, how many times have you went somewhere? Mm -hmm. And you actually had other cats come from anywhere else just to meet you, just to see who you are. I mean, no, 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 lately it's been happening. Okay. Lately, it's, and, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. I want to thank you for that. Cause, and this is, and this is but, so you're telling me you came all the way just to meet me? Him and I, like I said, we were going around Austin. Just him and I. We've been meeting cats in Austin. Bike set in Austin. It's, yeah. it's, it's raggedy. Okay. It's raggedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we said, you know what? You know, we heard about, you know, no rules, no duels having an event. Okay. We heard about the bike boy having an event. Then we heard the Drew were coming to yep. Dallas. They said, you know what? Me and say, you know what? Let's roll. Let's yeah. go. We don't know now. I don't know now. So we didn't know me so Yeah. I don't know. I did you know, we I came up, went over there, met some cats. Show love right off the bat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right off the bat. Hey, man, what's happening? And what's I met the cat on Facebook, man. Yeah. I just hit him up. Say, hey, man, where the party at? Yeah. He hit me back. Sent me his phone number as soon as he showed up. Showed his love all night. All of them. Yeah. Just on, yeah. just on, just on GP. Just yeah. coming. And then they appreciated us from coming. That's yeah. Y'all came with us. Yeah. A lot of cats won't do that because they had to stand off shit. Man, I don't know these names. Yeah. Who they? Yeah, you're right. I mean, that, that's up. Yeah. That, that arrogance, that bullshit. But there's only certain people that will actually gravitate to another person if that person is just standing. Well, one thing, what you just said, that's been my whole mission for FHO. With FHO, you know everybody now. You can go somewhere and, and reach out and people will reach back at you. That was my number one purpose for FHO because I wanted to bridge the gap. Like, for example, I tell people all the time, when I come to Atlanta cell, I'm looking you up, man, come on. I didn't have people sleep in my house. I didn't have people do whatever because that's what the shit is all about. You feel what I'm saying? Now, again, FHO, is about making all 48, 50 states one state. One state. So yeah, when I go to Austin or whenever I go here, I put, hey, I'm going here, I'm going there. And and that's what it's been all about, man. It's been beautiful. You don't understand. And it definitely has helped financially. When people say, hey, Sam, man, just come. We got your room and we're going to feed you. You don't even know how much that helps. I promise. Hey, man, well, how much you need for gas to get here? Um, uh, okay, well, we're going to send it to you. You don't have no fucking clue how much that helps. That tremendously, and, and and you're not buying me, you're not buying the commitment. I'm just telling you thank you. Because understand this, $50, $100, or, or whatever it may cost, all that shit makes a difference for me. Because I'm telling you, when you're passionate about something, sometimes you will you will, you will kill yourself. You'll, you'll, you'll lack something else in your life you know, just to pursue that passion. And I've been doing that for a while. And this ain't no sympathy plea. I ain't got to set up no GoFundMe. That ain't what I'm saying. I'm just telling y'all thank you for some real shit. For those who have been that and who, those who are that, 
thank you, and for the ones that will be there, in advance, thank you. But that's for anybody, because see, the same way I get it, I give it back. People come to line and say, what are we doing? I'm like, hey man, I don't drink, I don't got a whole lot of money, but I, I can take you to the bars where everybody at, and I'm gonna introduce you, and they got you. You feel what I'm saying? I have earned the respect, man, and you guys have given me the respect and have 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 gotten me in a different place to where I ain't even got to be where you are. And I can make a phone call and say, hey, I got some people down there, man, and they uh, they down there visiting me. Hey, what's that? Give my number, Seth. Tell me to come get them. And that's, it, that's, that's the yeah. cool thing. Yeah. That's the cool thing. That, that's the part that I'm talking about. Yeah. Him and I were talking, having a discussion about a place about a month ago, so ago, where some cats was having a was having a function. Dude told us about it. And then we start hitting back up. Okay, well, you know, we're gonna come through and you know, we can come through support. We'll stop, get a case of beer, buy a box of cigars, bless y'all with that, and you know, just say, hey, cool, thanks for inviting us. Dude never called us back. Never called us back, never told us, you know, hey, exactly where it was. So then I'm like, well, let's just just tell us. You know what I mean? If there's a barbershop in the town, of course everybody knows the yeah. barbershop, what's what. Give us the name of the barbershop. We show up at the barbershop. Have somebody meet us there. Somebody can navigate us. That motherfucker wouldn't even give us the name of the barbershop. Yeah. Wouldn't even give us the name of the barbershop to go and meet people to be at your function. Yeah. But then after the function's over, oh man, still didn't call. But when he when we got finally got a call, it him, may have been oh, man, that his function wasn't functioning. <laughs> and he didn't want he didn't want you to see that the function wasn't functioning. <laughs> his function went down, but he pumped some shit up. And now if him and I showed up. You know, now it's like, hey. Well, where's all this? Yeah, yeah, where's all that you talking yeah, about? Yeah, where Tyrese at? Yeah. You Yo. said Tyrese was singing. Oh, yeah. no, no, my homeboy Tyrese from the hood is singing. Yeah. yeah that is know, not shenanigans, though. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this is a brother that, you know, prior to me, you know, rolled with, you know, around town, had, had a cigar with, yeah. you know what I mean, broke bread with. Yeah. And then. And then, uh, and then he, uh, maybe his pocket wasn't right to return the favor. Because, I mean, like, even for me, man, you got to understand this. Sometimes, like, when people reach out to you, it's cool, but sometimes it's, it's pressure as well. Because if I ever had to return the favor, that's what I tell everybody, man. If you come to Atlanta, most likely I can, you know, I'm better to put you up and get you a place to sleep. But I don't got money to take you out on the town and, right. yeah. and to show you the town and take you to the strip club. And but they don't even let me in the strip club. They they banned me because I kept coming there with, with court dime rolls and, and penny rolls and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then I got them a couple of assault charges because the bitch said I threw a roll of quarters at her. You know what I'm talking about? So, other than that, man. But I will say this, man. Yeah. So some of these cats out there, you know, put more quality in your club rather than quantity. Mm. Mm -hmm. Put more quality because you can have a club with 10 brothers. But if everybody's stand up dudes and quality dudes, they show up. Hell, they, they, they it's not, that's yeah. good cat. Right there. You can have a hundred motherfuckers in there, but you get ten motherfuckers show up. Yeah. Oh man, shit, that's good thing. Put more quality in your club. Quality over quantity. Always the better choice. Again, man, y'all stay tuned. We got so much more. I love these cats. Appreciate these cats. Y'all already know, man. It, it just is what it is. You're gonna get me how you gonna get me. So Stay tuned. Hope you learned something. Plenty of shit to learn. Plenty of shit was talked about. And we're going to try to incorporate some of the stuff that you guys want to see. That's my goal is to try to get into a lot more of the stuff that you guys want to see. It's your boy Big Cell FHOH and I see. Stay tuned. What's going on, baby? <laughs> Come on, baby. What's good with it? I'm Sheila. That's Philip. What's going on, sir? How you doing, man? All right now. Good, you good? Good luck, the celebrity. The celebrity in the half. Looking, man. I, I'm just me, man. I'm just me, when man. I, when I see you back over, they look like sales back right there. Right. Right. But that's the new one. Yeah. yeah. G A G A. What did you say? Yeah, I already know. I like the new bike. I, 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 I seen, I seen you did the, 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 uh, the thing on the on the new system on the radio. Yeah. Uh huh. So you you liking it? Love it. Love it. They did their thing with it. They made it. It's just it's damn sure highway friendly. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. It's good to see your face in person. <laughs> <laughs> now, let, now, let, let me introduce you to her, her bike. You know, she's seen the picture. You know, she got a, she got a trike. It's a Honda trike, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my bike. Oh, the yellow. Yeah. Yours is, is black. black. 
So you know, she, so you say you been down, right? Yeah, yeah, we went yeah, down to first thing. Yeah. yeah. See, you remember? Yeah, I'm telling you. It's real soft, man. So don't, don't what the hell? I'm back to walking on that, bro. <laughs> Y'all got quicksand in this motherfucker? <laughs> Fast What's up, baby? Oh, All good? Yeah. All right. Yeah. This it right here? Yeah. This is her baby. He show sure is clean. Oh, no. There's a little no, bit of dirt on there. A little bit of dirt on there. Storm last night. Like, I was in it too. Woo! Boy, it came down like Kevin Gold last night. What you say? I was in it too though. It's nice though. I know you was, hell. You came from GA. This is the, which track is this? This that's is the new one. That's the new one. That's the new one. Yeah, this is the new one. Yeah. So it's what's on road, It's on that Road King body. Oh, it's on the Road King? Yeah. Turn it on the road here, baby. Turn it on the here. <laughs> what I'm saying, so that that's what they did different. The chassis is different than that yeah. regular three-wheeler? Yeah. Because the other three-wheeler is the uh, it's road, uh, road Glide. Road Glide. I see you doing your little thing. 2015. Let me hold something. That, that means I got all the money, man. That where all the money at, buddy. That means we got a note. <laughs> you ain't the only one. <laughs> hey, man, that's quicksand. Y'all better be careful. Especially your heavy ass. You're going to sink right on up in there. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey. I was, I'm just saying. I'm a lightweight, baby. You know John and Wanda. <laughs> Big John. Big John? Yeah, yeah and it's like Wanda. Okay. People. Yeah. And we're bubbling. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I see you put your little bling on there and everything. Is the key? Is she close enough to it? No, it ain't a neutral. Hey, you, you, you got to turn the switch on. Turn the switch on. You look on the handlebar, baby. Turn the switch oh. on. You must got it on. This that. So this on the Road King chassis, huh? Yeah. So how you like it? Well, most on it I, I, keep, I, try it. To, <laughs> I try to keep them keep 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 down, keep them grounded. But Who painted that? I like that yellow on there. Who painted that? That's, that's the 13 color. That's the factory with that flake in there like that? Oh, yeah. It's got flakes in it, it's got green and uh, yellow flakes in it. I there. see. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Trying, and, I'm, and I'm trying my best to keep that color. So, introduce yourself, let them know who you is. Hey, I'm Sheila. Phil. Phil, come on over here. Phil, come on over here. Introduce yourself. What happened? I'm, I'm Suitcase. And, I'm Shishi. And these are some of my FHO fans, man. And the D Town. What's up? What up? What up? I Fast love you all. I want to thank y'all. <laughs> these, these are the most pretty bikes they got. Well, here it is, man. We're going to take y'all around, show y'all some of this shit, and see what they're working with. Stay tuned. What's the best way to keep them warm? It ain't. They so damn greedy. Hey, let me get a picture of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another legend. Another legend. You see me? Let me show y'all the goddamn food, man. This nigga's a goddamn food, man. Yeah. You got on short shoes? That's how you rock today? And you all three of y'all. Yeah, but I'm not stunned, though. I'm not stunned. I'm a regular nigga. I'm just, I'm probably. Let it out of front of us. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. West Coast All-Star team in the building. We all had the Harley Davidson dealership at Maverick. Oh, yeah, it is. Yes, sir. What's the name? Reggie Butler. Reggie Butler, what's going on, baby? What's up with you, man? What's happening, man? Look here, man. I'm here, man. We in Dallas. Another cocksucker done showed up. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What's happening, baby? Looking at it, man. Looking at it, huh? These nice bikes, man. You got some shit out here, don't you? A whole lot of money somewhere. Somebody. Give me some. I know where your, yeah, where your nice bike at. Yeah, yeah I'm going to knock it off. You see? Boy, you want to do it. Great, we're ready. 
No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You're not finna kill me, have me tumble over because I'm funny, built motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? You see how they try to do me? They try to get that number one YouTube video. I ain't gonna be able to get to it. I ain't gonna be able to get to it, man. All right, stay on my right, baby. Yeah, I know you don't like it. 